this month's fab free software giveaway, Autotonic CM is an advanced real-time MIDI note transposer that effectively quantizes the pitch of any notes you play on your MIDI keyboard to notes that conform to a scale of your choosing. It then passes the transposed note information to the destination of your choice, which is typically a software instrument in your door. Instead of playing both the black and white keys on your keyboard controller like you normally would, the black keys are used as toggle switches that call up preset scale maps that you then play using only the white keys. So you can sound like a top-notch keys player without the hassle of having to learn any new scales. Designed not so much for performing existing pieces of music, Autotonic CM is more of a tool for exploring compositional areas that you wouldn't ordinarily foray into, inspiring you to create outstanding new pieces. Because of the way it works, sitting in the middle of the MIDI data chain, between your controller keyboard and your door, it has to be configured to your particular setup using virtual cabling. Following this, you need to disable the regular MIDI input to your door, leaving only Autotonic's output as the active MIDI input. This avoids double notes being triggered when you hit the keys on your keyboard with Autotonic CM active. In this video then, we're going to show you exactly how to get up and running with this amazing bit of kit. So here's how to start setting up and using Autotonic CM. Here we're setting up Autotonic CM for use with Logic Pro 10 on a Mac but there's plenty of information available on how to configure it for your own system at www.autotonic.net. First, launch the Audio MIDI Setup app found in your computer's Utilities folder. Access the MIDI Studio window from the Window menu and double-click the IAC Driver icon. Autotonic CM is not a conventional plugin that's hosted in your door. Instead, it runs alongside as a separate app taking the MIDI information sent from your controller keyboard, transforming it, and passing it through to your door. We need to set up a MIDI port for this, so click the plus box to add a new port, and name it something like Autotonic IAC. Then make sure that the Devices Online checkbox is ticked, so that the port is activated. After installation, the next step is to configure Autotonic CM's MIDI input and output to your current setup so that it sits happily in the MIDI data chain between your controller keyboard and your door. To do this, launch the app and click the MIDI I.O. button found in the central display. You should see two columns, one for input and the other for output. In the input column, there should be a list of all the controllers and MIDI devices connected to your computer. Click the name of the one you want to use so that it's highlighted grey and click to deselect any others that were already selected. Next, we need to do the same for the output column, highlighting the Autotonic IAC output option that we set up earlier. In your door, make sure that you also select this output as your door's only MIDI input. Otherwise, you'll get two sets of notes being triggered from your keyboard, the regular notes that you're actually playing, and Autotonic CM's scale-corrected versions, making for interesting listening. When you first load up Autotonic CM, it defaults to bypass mode. In this state, no headers are visible, and anything you play on your MIDI controller passes unaltered through to Autotonic CM's MIDI output. It's totally transparent, and there's no apparent difference to your MIDI setup. Notes you play in, and notes that are output, show up in blue on the keyboard displays. To demonstrate this, we've got a Logic project here with a single software instrument track loaded with a piano sound. As we run through a few scales, chords and riffs, every note we play appears both on the blue input keyboard display and again on the yellow output keyboard display. Everything's being passed through the device totally normally. There are two ways to enable Autotonic CM both involving the power button that you'll find anchored above the input keyboard's C-sharp 3 note. Pressing this note on your MIDI keyboard fires up the app. As does clicking on the power button directly with the mouse pointer. 
The result of either of these actions is the appearance of a bunch of header tabs above the black keys on the input keyboard. The headers display the functions that are now assigned to the black keys. For instance, with the yellow illuminated header above F sharp 3 active, we've selected the hexatonic blue scale. If we play this key, we get no sound, as it's now a switch rather than a key. You'll also notice that a number of keys are now lit up on the yellow output keyboard. These indicate the notes that the output will be corrected to. In other words, the notes in the currently selected scale. If we were to play the white keys on our MIDI controller now, each incoming note would be shifted to its nearest equivalent note in the selected scale. To illustrate, let's bypass the app for a moment and play up and down the first five notes of the C major scale. C, D, E, F, and G. All nice and normal and major and happy, since all Autotonic CM is doing is passing the notes unaltered through the device and sending them out of the MIDI output to Logic's MIDI input. Now let's enable Autotonic CM, leave the hexatonic blue scale selected, and check out the difference. When we play a middle C note, we get the same C note out of Autotonic CM's output. No difference so far, but this is because C is currently selected as the tonic. So we're outputting the C blue scale, of which C is the root note. All good so far. When we play a D on the keyboard though, we get an E flat at the output. D is not in the C blue scale. So autotonic CM shifts it to the next nearest note that is in the scale, E flat. Similarly, if we play E, we get an F at the output, while F at the input gives us an F sharp at the output. G on the keyboard gives us G at the output, but only because it's the fifth white key and it happens to correspond to the fifth note in the C blue scale, also a G. If we continue up the keyboard playing only the white notes, we ascend up the corresponding sequence of notes in the C blues scale. Funky stuff. Here's an example of it in use, playing an organ part. You can play chords too, but they're a bit hit and miss with this particular scale, since the close intervals between the F, F sharp and G can be a bit dissonant when played as chords. Let's try a different scale, by hitting one of the black keys assigned to the header tab that contains the desired scale template. The next one up is the pentatonic Yo scale, often used in Japanese music, accessed by hitting the G-sharp 3 key. This is essentially a major scale with the 3rd and 7th notes missed out. So as you can see by the yellow notes on the output keyboard, this is what comes out when we play our white notes. Here's an example of this scale in use a two-note marimba part played over a track consisting of drums, bass and piano. Anytime you want to play normally without Autotonic CM, simply tap the C-sharp 3 key to turn it off, and your keyboard will be restored to its normal state. You can combine the functions of different headers together by activating them simultaneously. For example, pressing the minor aioli tab together with the F sharp tab sets the output to the scale of F sharp minor. 
Now when you play the white keys, an F sharp minor scale comes out. Here's an example of it in use playing a synth solo over an F sharp minor backing track. Finally, the full version of Autotonic is capable of endless user customizable combinations of intervals within a scale, so you can set up templates that you wouldn't ordinarily find elsewhere. An example of this is the three interval scale, user 1, found on the D sharp 5 header. This contains only four notes, so produces some interesting results. Try it with a bass sound and see how easy it is to use minimalistic scales like this to come up with cool sounding bass lines. We're putting all this scale shifting power in your hands for absolutely zero financial outlay. But if you like what Autotonic CM can do, you can get up to even more scaly shenanigans by opting to buy the full version of Autotonic, which retails at $149. This includes advanced note transposing into any key, flexible key mapping, an integrated library of 50 different scales, and user customizable scales. For more information, see www.autotonic.net.